Hi, this is Frank Raddus, and we're here at the Red Touch Media Experience. And I'm talking to Jessica Hope from Iroko Partners. Could you tell me a little bit, Jessica, about what Iroko does? Hi, Frank. Well, um, we are the world's largest online distributor of Nigerian entertainment. Uh, and we have a platform, which is irokotv.com. And we stream, stream Nollywood movies online. And for those that don't know, Nollywood is Nigerian Hollywood. And it's the second largest film industry in the world. Tell me about how the company got started. Okay, so my boss, Jason Njoku, uh, who's the CEO, he uh, was living at home with his mum, 29, broke, no money. Uh, all of his friends started, you know, moving up the career ladder, so he was feeling a bit sorry for himself. Uh, he had maybe eight or nine failed, um, failed business entre um, enterprises behind him. And, uh, yeah, he's living with mum, and she asked him to get him some Nollywood DVDs. And he was like, what's this Nollywood? It's always on in the background. My aunts watch it. My, um, all my family watches it. So uh, being an internet geek, he went online and couldn't find it. And he thought, well, hang on, how can something so popular that all of my Nigerian friends' family are talking about not be on the internet? Everything's on the internet, right? Uh, so he did some research and just saw that there was actually no space at all for uh, Nollywood Online. And that's where he came up with the idea. Got on a plane to Lagos, started buying some of the movies, watching them, watching them, understanding how the industry worked. And uh, from there, he set up a YouTube channel and uh, went from there. So, uh, you know, I, I was confused when I heard Nollywood for the first time, and I've been in the business a long time. It's just something that seemed to come out of nowhere to me. And, and, and now to hear that it's been around for 20 years, um, wh why is it something that hasn't really sort of connected with the West? It hasn't connected with the West because it's pretty much very African-centric. So it's African stories by Africans for Africans. As maybe the West is not as interested in those types of African stories yet as they might be in the future. Um, also, distribution has just been the main issue. So as I say, Jason's mum, she was uh, Nigerian originally, has lived in the UK for a... a large percentage of her life, even she found it difficult getting hold of these DVDs, you would have to go to very specific market stalls in the UK, um, or m mostly London, to buy these movies. So uh, distribution and access was just the main issue for most Nigerians, most Africans who wanted to watch the movies. Uh, the African diaspora is about 30 million spread around the world. There's a huge diaspora population in the US as well. And again, for them, they found access the main issue. And it really just hadn't broken through that sort of cultural um, barrier.